Zumi's prayers to endless, untouchable places. Over the marshes, a circus in the sky. Tiny black marsh birds swerve and spin, collapsing and contracting like an accordion. They are the very picture of serendipity. Together in a chorus of flight, we count, we count, but then cannot. There is an infinitude. And when some die within the count, they are of a limbo of existence. Do they count or do they not? We say some infinities are larger than other infinities, having no idea of it. We too are an unbounded set, grateful for the infinite proportions of our life. Many notions of ourselves within ourselves die or never come to be. Do these count? Where is beauty to be found, in great or in small things, in all? Mostly it is found in the eyes of love, whose infinite gaze of us will be reciprocated. T'was Solomon said, Lo, this only have I found, all the streams of wickedness, their infinite windings and turnings. Yet we were made upright without any imperfection or corruption, an infinitude of beauties within one and each person. These first were not contented with their present state, but studied new ways of making themselves more wise and happy than God had made us. In the end, endless sorrows. Solomon searched to the nature and reason of things, but there a labyrinth of the humanity we have known, there more sorrow. Though not finding out the rivers of iniquity, he yet discovered the fountain all men, all women. Made upright, we wilted. But as the bruised reed, we are, not, we are given tender care. It is said, beginnings do not exist. Yet this is of the impersonal world. Ours is of you, certain, pure, admonished, forgiven. The prairie, desert, sky, and sea. These have each its own edge, which falls to another infinity. We somewhat belch the formlessness of them. For us you made unique and formed us to your perfection. It is personhood which is the hood of infinity. O oh, space and time and stars at strife. How dreadful your infinity. But we, when dead, are come to life. There is no higher thing. Time is not the endless consciousness. It is the Son of God whose gaze does never leave our praise. The great white light of annihilation brings its bright flash of death. But we are no longer there. We leave as in a dream to endless, untouchable places. Safely moored at last, we stay silent for a time, abashed at unexpectedness. A perilous and long voyage did not commence. No, we are simply there. And there find a great number, your love divided endlessly, but not diminished. Of beauty there remained only infinity, a clarity of beauty even in its fastness. It is a dance begun, and we among all lovers of the Lord. There we conceive the inconceivable, believe the unbelievable. A child came forth today from out the womb. I hoped that he was smiling. For if he knew the things to come, that he would grow that large. What largeness is given by the Lord of friendships, joy, and all to share. The bounty of blessings is untold. We have but to believe as still that child, and no harm will ever come to us. Yet when it does, we take it as a dent and not a stricken slash asunder. We have not come to know our indestructibility. Finite are the sorrows of the earth, infinitum the joys of heaven. The creeping curve of logic never captured us, for into mystery we went. Love exists inside and outside of space. We capture what we may. There was but one who gave us truth, love one another, and it has made all the difference. An undetectable charm 
upheld us, and we believed the promise of it. A large silence rests on lonely hills, but we have seen beyond. We sought to eclipse the bounds of our humanity. Your providence has swallowed us and taken us to your boundless places. Our squandered, starving life is brought to the banqueting table. Jesus asked to Peter thrice, Do you love me? Then said, Feed my sheep. To us is left this apostolic destiny. It is not an indefinite infinity. It is unto the last day, and unto the last believer who will enter into your joy and blessing. Amen.